What's going on, Pokemon Trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're about to watch another Pokemon Battle video. Enjoy! Alright! We are back! I know it's been a while, I've been away from YouTube and all that, because college is just starting up again, I wanted to make sure I have everything worked out for me. And it was a great week. Like, nothing went wrong. Very good classes. I'm really enjoying myself right now. And I'm really happy about myself. So, and also, my YouTube anniversary is coming up as well, August 26th. I'm very excited. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing on that day, whether I'm going to be uploading it or not. But it is fastly approaching, and I'm really looking forward to that, because it's a special day for my YouTube channel. It's a special day! Why wouldn't you want to celebrate? But, we have a new video here to make up for the missed time that I was away. It's okay. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. Yes, it's on Shogam, so that is still the same, but the thing that's different, and of course the thumbnail threw it away, it's a Pokemon random number generator battle. And what that is, is we have our showdown, right? And we go on to the random Pokemon generator website. We go ahead and select what Pokemon that will be selected. We, we don't know this. It's completely random. And I'm going to make sure that I choose one. You can change it to one, two, three, four, all the way to six. You can select, you can select the sprites, the ubers. Or, which are mythical Pokemon, in a way. And we can generate that Pokemon. And whatever that Pokemon is, I have to build a team around that Pokemon that was chosen. So let's go ahead and see what Pokemon I'm going to be using. If I click on it, it's going to be Toe Cannon. Wow. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Of course, I'm going to be using Toe Cannon in the OU letter. And from the last time I checked on the PU letter, I believe Tokanon was on there. So, this will be an interesting team building process. I will go ahead and create a team real quick and I'll be right back. And I'll describe the team a little bit in further detail. Alright guys, I'll be right back in a moment. Let's go do this thing. Alright trainers, we're here for the team building overview. You see on the screen, we've got an interesting team. I'll tell you that right now. Let's go over it real quickly. Let's not waste any more time. We have a Tell Cannon here. That's the Pokemon that we generated on the website there. This Tell Cannon is rocking the Life Orb set with the ability Skill Link, which will boost up the moves to Rock Blast, Bullet Seed, all those moves by 1.5 times. It's not a lot, but it's a significant amount for OU. I was trying to figure out what move I wanted to use for Toe Cannon. Like, we have Brave Bird, we have Beak Blast, and I've decided to go with the Brave Bird option because Beak Blast is so predictable in OU especially because OU is like the highest level besides Legendary Tier or Uber. So, it'd be Kind of weird to have Big Blast, because people can predict that. Whereas I can just go for Brave Bird and pretty much put a lot of damage onto whoever comes in. So it is nice to burn something, I'll give you that, but it's just so risky with it. So we have Brave Bird on this toe cannon with Bullet Seed, Knock Off, and Rock Blast. Again, Bullet Seed, Rock Blast, all effect from the ability Skill Link. It's gonna be great. And the EV spread is 12 in HP, just a little bit of HP to survive a few hits. 244 with the adamant nature and max speed. So that is token for you. The secondary Pokemon here is Raikou with Choice Scarf, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Hidden Power Fire, and Shadow Ball. Now, I wanted to use Hidden Power Ice, but I figured Hidden Power Fire would catch Ferrothorn, would catch Celesteela, would catch Excadrill coming in. All those steel types, I want to make sure that we get Magurna as well. There's a lot of steel types, and while there's a lot of dragons in there also, you couldn't go wrong with having one of them, right? You know, Hidden Power Fire is probably going to work out better anyway. You never know. 
We're gonna try it and see. We have the standard set on choice Scarf Ryko. We got 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed, and 4 in Special Defense with a Kid Mid Nature. The third Pokemon in the squad is Grand Ninja with the Fankinium Z. I absolutely like this set because you have spikes to set up entry hazards, obviously. You have the Protean ability, which means that we switch up our typing based on what move we're using. So if we went for spikes, we'll become a ground type. We go for a low kick, we'll be a fighting type. So we get stab from it. Low kick is there for the Titanium Z purposes. That is our Z Pokemon, and we'll be using all out pummeling when we can. Not sure when, but we'll figure it out. I haven't done the battle yet, so bear with me on this. And then we have Taunt. Oh shit, that is my thing. Alright, we're good. Uh, we have uh, Taunt and Ice Beam. So Taunt is there to stop users from signing up. I don't have Defog on this team, which is unfortunate. We have Ice Beam to do some damage to the opposition. And we have Max HP, Max Speed, 4 and Attack. So if I take him Z or the All Out Pummeling, won't do maximum damage. It'll do some damage, but not maximum, okay? Clefable is next. We have leftovers on this Clefable. Clefable is our fairy type, and we have the Magic Guard ability. It's going to be very useful at times. We have Wish, Protect, Moonblast, and Call Mind on this Clefable. I've used this one before. I've used it in my Wi-Fi battles. Proved to be a very good Pokemon overall. So I'm really excited to use Clefable here. Pairing up with Clefable, and yes, we have that Fire, Steel, or it's supposed to Steel, Fairy, and Poison Core. There we go. That core is intact here. I brought Heatran to the table here. Heatran is going to be our Stealth Rocker for the team. Stealth Rock, Magma, Storm, Toxic, and Earth Power. The ability Flash Fire, Leftovers, mainly Defensive, Max HP, Special Defense, Maximized, and Foreign Special Attack. So that Magma, Storm, and Earth Power do damage. And the nature is calm. A very calm feature, indeed. And then finally, we have Venusaur Mega. Venusaur is going to be our Mega for the team. The ability Thick Fat, which means Fire Type Attacks and Ice Type Moves, will be doing half the damage. We have Max HP and Max Defense for a special attack. A very bulky, physically based Venusaur here. The moves are going to be awesome here. Sleep Powder, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, and Synthesis. Sleep Powder can put Pokemon to sleep there. You can Giga Drain up and get your HP back if you want. Sludge Bomb can poison the target and can go for the recovery option, which is Synthesis. A very awesome Venusaur. I'm really excited to use him. So there you go. We got Cocannon, Raikou, Venusia, Clefable. Heatran, and Venusaur Mega, or Mega Venusaur, sorry. That is our team, and I'm going to look for a battle. I'm not sure how well we'll do, but I'm hoping that it is a great one. So, stay tuned for that. I'll be right back. Alright, so this is the battle. I actually have two battles for you. And they were both good games, so it should be really fun. Again, I'm not expecting to win. All these games, but if we do, that would be awesome. We have our Cocannon team right here. My opponent has Cartana, Lando, Volcarona, all those powerful OU mods. Right away though, I start out with Greninja, hoping to get up spikes, but we get we get demolished by this Cartana right away, so that's unfortunate. Knowing that he's probably choice in some manner, I go for Toxic. I catch the Landorus coming in, who's expecting the Earthquake, most likely, or Earth Power. I've decided to go into Toucanning here, expecting him to go for his own Earthquake. And that works out great. I go for the knockoff to get rid of an item. And we see that this Landorus is a Rock Polish set. Thankfully, I poisoned it, because I don't want him to go for Sword Stance or anything weird like that. Expecting him to go for an Earthquake, or not an Earthquake, but like Stone Edge or something like that. I why to go into Venusaur right away, but he goes for his own knockoff. I want to get rid of that damage 
going for sin success right there. That works great because the poison will knock him out. Unfortunately, he goes into Volcarona and Volcarona has Quiver Dance. I think he predicted me to switch out, so I wanted to, I wanted to bait him to doing that. So I stay again and I go for the Sleep Powder. And I'm like, alright, this is great because I can go for Brave Bird. And I wanted to KO this Volcarona before it was a pain to deal with. Because of Quiver Dance, Volcarona is essentially unbreakable. So, we go into Venusaur expecting this Greninja to probably KO me with the Ice Beam, and we actually take those hits. Not only that, we have the Hidden Power Fire to deal with also. We do burn, or not burn, <laughs> we poison it. And I, I wanted to go for Giga Green, but he has so many options like Superior to switch into. But it's okay, we go for a synthesis, realizing that I'm at low HP. He goes for another hidden power fire. I just go for the Giga Drain, and I don't KO it for some reason. But the poison will take care of it, so I'm not too worried about it. Now here, he goes back into Cartana, and I really... I don't have a good answer, unless I put it to sleep, and then I forgot all about it being a grass type. I really thought it was steel, just pure steel, but that's what you get when you don't do Pokemon Showdown for a while. So that was a waste of a turn there, bas basically. I go into Raikou here, and I am Choice Scarf on this Raikou, so I should be faster than this Superior. I know that this thing has Contrary as its ability. I put his damage onto this Superior, and this will allow me to go and see something that might revenge kill it, but again, you know, like, Heatran is pretty good because it has good special defense, but this superior is really strong, so I wasn't sure how much I would take. We actually take it really well. I'm really surprised, being at plus four and all. So, Heatran really comes through here. He brings a Gliscor, and I'm like, alright, well, I... Wasn't sure what you were going to do, if you were going to go for Protect and whatnot. That's okay, I'm going to go back into the Toe Cannon. I want to knock off his his item away, because like this will allow him to take poison damage. Alternatively, I guess in the last turn, I should have switched out into Toe Cannon expecting Earthquake, but you have to make those decisions. I just didn't. And then here I kind of over-predict. I thought he was going to switch out or something like that. I really should have gone for a Brave Bird. That was a much better play in my opinion, but that is okay. He goes for Roost again. I'm not sure he could just lock me up, but I understand why he has the Poison. So, I mean, Poison is going to take me out. He's also Poison, so Poison is actually playing a huge role here. I go into Clefable next. And I'm happy I did that because Toxic won't really do anything. So realizing this, I go with Calm Mind. And I'm going to utilize Protect here so that the Poison will knock out the Glide Score. Unfortunately, we, we still have the Cartana to deal with. And I'm like, alright, what do I have for you? I kind of wish I had Earthquake. Or I wish I had Flamethrower. Because Flamethrower would have been a much better option than Moonblast. Although it does do some damage, like it, it's doing enough for it to be like almost a two to KO, but Smart Strike is doing too much. And I really don't have a good answer. If I had a full HP Venusaur, I might have been able to take a Smart Strike, but we lose this game. But I really enjoyed this battle because I I did very well with Toe Cannon. It's just that one other turn that I should have used Brave Bird, but. Anyway, that was a good game. I have another one for you, and this one was a really good match. You see that my opponent is very, very weak to Raikou, and he's grounded, so if I can get up spikes, I can really use them here. Uh, I'm gonna go into Venusaur. I didn't want to set up right away because I figured that this Machamp might use Dynamic Punch. So we go into Venusaur. Not a problem. He goes for a knockoff. Goes for Bullet Punch on the next turn. I'm not sure why he did that. I 
I figured he would switch. But I go for Deku Drain, restore a little bit of HP there. And he has Facade as well, which is pretty cool. I don't really see that on the champ nowadays, but it's making sense here because he's burnt. And of course, if you're burnt or poisoned, Facade does double the damage. So I go into Heatran expecting another Facade. And I'm going to utilize Heatran. I have Stealth Rocks too, if I want to use them. I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks right here. And he has Rapid Spin on Blastoise. That is okay, I want him to do that. He does have Aura Sphere, which is unfortunate. I really want him to go for the Rapid Spin. But we do take it, which is pretty nice. I go for a Toxic. Again, Toxic is very useful here. It's okay, he can goes down. I, I, he, he really doesn't do much in this game, to be honest. Because he has like, what, two different water type Pokemon there? So. And he also has Ice Beam. That's another move that I was not aware of. Fortunately, we do live with Toe Cannon, and we get a double down, so Toe Cannon did his job going for the bullet seed there. On the double down, we go into Greninja, and I want to force this Cloyster to use Shell Smash so that I can taunt it, but he goes for the explosion, and I very obviously live it somehow. I do have my Z power, I want to use it sometime during this match, so I'm gonna hold on to Greninja for now. Going to Clefable, which I knew I could move a Poison Jab, I know that that was probably not a good move on my part, but it's okay, we do live it. This is a max HP, max defense Clefable anyway, so I know I can live it. Go for the Wish Protect scenario, and I will now Survive this hit right here. We do get poison, which again that doesn't work. I'm gonna go for the moonblast. It does some damage to the Toxic Croak. But this is okay because I want him to take me out. And I can go into Raikou or someone faster. That would be Raikou because he's short scarf. But somewhere that I can just or someone that I can utilize and just KO this Toxic Croak. So he does have Sucker Punch, but like that will not do as much. I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch. At any point, he could have gone into Flygon, but I think he's preserving it. I knew he was going to switch into something that does not want to take an all out pummeling. There, I think he forgot about the Stealth Ox, because he went into the Champ. Not a good move by my opponent. I am faster than my Logic, so I will unleash my all out pummeling. Unfortunately, since my Logic is very bulky, I do not take him out, but that's okay. That is okay, so. Greninja goes down. This will allow me to go back into Raikou. And again, I'm going to be careful with the Flygon in the back. I really thought that that Volt Switch would KO. This is going to come to bite me, okay, in the end game. Yeah, it's going to come to haunt me later on, and I'm not really happy about it. We sacrifice. Venusaur because I have to, and Raikou is my last Pokemon, so I have to use Shadow Ball. Since I'm choice Scarf, I am locked in on one move. Flygon is a ground type, so I can't use Thunderbolt. So that means that Flygon, who is most likely Z, is going to probably use that Z move against me. It's probably Tectonic Rage if I ever see one. Or it could be Devastating Drake, whatever works for him. I am locking on Shadow Ball. We almost KO Flygon, but we come out real short and Tectonic Rage will KO me, so yes, we lose both games, but they were really close. And Tokenon actually did some work here in this in these battles, so I'm not gonna complain. I did have a lower class team than usual, so there you go. Those were the matches. I hope you guys enjoyed this RNG type battle on Showdown. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Wi-Fi Battle video. Have a great one, trainers.